States Armed Forces who have given the supreme sacrifice for our freedom so we can enjoy this beautiful day in our country that we love.
On this day, we take time to honor our past members of the Milltown Fire Department and Ladies Auxiliary who answered their final alarm. Their hard work and dedication to the citizens of Milltown and our country brought us here today. allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll now have the placing of the wreaths. In the Milltown Fire Department, Chief Stephen Batalla. From the Exempt Association, President Brian Hardo. The Ladies Auxiliary, President Jeanette Demansky, assisted by Captain Tom Demansky. The Lord's Prayer will now be read by Ladies of Zillary Chaplain, Elsie Cherico. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Rosie Monahan sing God Bless America.
right here. We're reading the flower announcements. Uh, unfortunately, due to the uh, effects of COVID, our uh, longtime partner, uh, Hannes Flores, was able to uh, reopen. And we are in the midst of trying to make sure we contact all the families to uh, set up a uh, future flower arrangement. So unfortunately, we, uh, it's a little thin here this year. So we do have some flowers. We have the geraniums planted uh, by the Milltown Fire Department members. We have flowers for Ed Hardo and Drew Hardo, placed by Brian and Ann Hardo, Lana, Ava, and the Londino family. Flowers in memory of Raymond Jolly by his family. Flowers in memory of Kristen Jensen, Bill P Chief Kristen Jensen, Bill Petrie Sr., Chief Bill Ch Petrie Jr., and John Ritterson, placed by the Petrie family. We'll now have the reading and list of the fallen members. Uh, Zem President Hordo. Since our last uh, service, we've lost four members. H. Bruce Bronson Sr., Donald H. Petrie, Victor D. Barris, and most recently, Raymond Connor. Now, ladies and auxiliary president shall read their names. Since our last service, we've lost Beth Hefner, Vera Dorn, Jean Collier Bollinger, Dorothy Clevins, and Lillian Moreau. In the last several years, the Memorial Committee has been making every effort to locate our full and exempt members. Working with family members and cemeteries, we have been able to locate 196 out of our 226 deceased exempt members. Our goal is to put a flag and marker for each of our fallen. We will continue to do our best as some are buried out of state, some have been cremated, and some are in mausoleums are, are, and are unable to receive a flag. Members have, located, members have been located in over 22 cemeteries in multiple states. This year we placed over 140 flags I am proud of all the members who helped in placing flags and gathering information. I believe this is the least we can do for those who've earned this honor. For those of you who don't know, this will be our last memorial service held at this location. With the completion of the new firehouse, combined firehouse, Memorial Day services will be held in the new building beginning next year. This is not an easy thing to do considering the history and the time spent at both Engine and Host Company. We appreciate all that has been done over the years by the members of the department, members of the Public Works, helping us with the upkeep of our monument. I am confident that we will continue to do our, our fallen members justice in honoring them. As, ch as change in life is inevitable, so will be the change in some traditions. The monu monument will be moved to the new building site, and the department has purchased new granite slabs which all of our deceased members' names will be engraved. A new bell has been donated by a resident and will be incorporated permanently into the monument. I look forward to unveiling our, our memorial services in the future and encourage everyone to continue to join us and pay tribute to our members. May God bless our departed members and their families and give renewed inspiration to our current members to serve the borough of Milltown and protect our residents lives and property, and you can also dedicate our past members' commitment to this, of service to them. May God bless our soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and Coast Guard who are fighting for our freedom today as well as in wars past. May God bless the United States of America. Thank you. This concludes our services today.